Toyota is a manufacturer that we have talked about on this channel numerous times, from their exploration of hydrogen in road cars to their endurance hydrogen combustion cars. They are furthering the technology and making it possible for the internal combustion engine to live another day. Now, this company is exploring yet another avenue towards a greener future, a technology that captures carbon dioxide directly from the air, and this tech is fitted on the vehicles themselves. This innovative concept is currently being tested on their hydrogen-powered Geo Corolla race car, and it is raising intriguing questions about the future of transportation and the fight against climate change. Now, the technology itself is deceptively simple. Circular filters are fitted at the front of the car, capturing CO2 as the vehicle drives. This captured CO2 is then dissolved into a liquid using waste heat from the engine, creating a captured carbon byproduct. According to Toyota, this process could potentially render their cars carbon negative, meaning that they could remove more CO2 from the environment than they emit. And this would be insane. I mean, most companies are chasing the carbon neutral future, and Toyota is out here building cars that better the planet. And if you think about it, if they progress with this concept, it could be used on more than just Toyotas. I mean, the potential benefits of this technology are undeniable. If successfully developed, and implemented, it could contribute to a cleaner atmosphere by capturing CO2 directly from the air, complement existing green initiatives by working with electric, hybrid and hydrogen vehicles, and even offer solutions for existing vehicles by potentially adapting to combustion engines and being fitted to cars that run on conventional fuel. Meaning that even if you, like me, don't have the cash to buy a new quote-unquote green car, you can contribute and reduce your car's emissions by sucking some of the CO2 back out of the atmosphere. However, I do have to say that this technology is still in its early stages and still faces a lot of significant challenges. The current prototype only captured a meager 20 grams of CO2 in 20 laps, highlighting the need for significant improvement in capture efficiency. Scaling up the filters for passenger vehicles might be difficult, necessitating alternative solutions or a focus on larger commercial vehicles. The process also creates a liquid byproduct containing the captured CO2, raising concerns about its safe and sustainable disposal. Additionally, the Gior Corolla prototype required frequent manual filter changes, raising questions about practicality and waste management in everyday usage. But here is my stance on all of this. Most, if not all, new technologies kind of suck at the beginning. The first electric cars had a range of under 80 miles on a charge, and it took quite some time to charge. The prototype hydrogen combustion engines of the early 2000s made almost no power. And even the combustion engine. I mean, if you look back, go to the 40s, a 3.6 litre V8 made only 85 horsepower. Now you have small little 1 litre engines producing more power than that. Today's challenges are tomorrow's reward. Just because it has challenges doesn't mean that we should just keep up. I think that Toyota should continue pursuing this as well as their hydrogen technology. Who knows, maybe one day our children might thank them for the planet they are given. To end it off, Toyota's CO2 capturing technology, while in its early stages, offer a glimpse into a future where vehicles actively contribute to cleaning the air. However, the road ahead is filled with challenges. Addressing these challenges efficiently and transparently will be crucial in determining whether this innovation can become a viable and impactful solution in the fight against climate change. As the auto refines the technology and addresses concerns, the world will be watching to see if this innovation can truly take us down a cleaner path. But at the end of the video, please let me know what you think of this technology and what do you think of Toyota. I do think this is a really good idea because there's a whole lot of cars on our planet that does run on internal combustion engines and there's millions of people that don't have money to buy an electric vehicle or even a hydrogen vehicle because um, new cars are kind of expensive. So giving us the option to reduce our footprint in a cost-effective manner is the only way we can really make a big difference. But yeah, at the end of the video, please let me know what you guys thought of the video and if you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. Now, if you did like it, you'll most probably like most of my other stuff. So just go through my channel, see if there's something else you like. I'll check you guys in the next one. Cheers, eh?